The following is a lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded November 10th, 1973, in New Delhi, India. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your coming here, taking so much trouble to participate in this Krishna consciousness movement. And I shall simply try to draw your attention about the importance of this movement. importance of this movement is this, that we do not know what is the aim of life. The modern civilization all over the world, especially in the Western world, and nobody knows what is the actual problem and what is the aim of life. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. The Bhagavad Gita says the real problem is Janamitu Jaradvadi Dukho Dosanu Darsana. That birth, death, old age, and disease. These are the problems. If you take birth, then you will have to die. Uh, anyone who takes birth, he must have to die. And uh, so long, between birth and death, there is old age and disease. Actually, these are the problems. So far, we are concerned, living entities, every one of us, that is, Describing the Bhagavad Gita, na jayate namriyati vāpadāsī. The living entity is never born, never dies. Nitya sāsatumaya purāna na hannate hannamāne sarīre. The living entity is eternal, ever existing, and very old, and na hannate hannamāne sarīre. It does not die after the annihilation of this body. But the modern civilization, they are thinking that this body, we have got somehow or other a lump of matter, and so long we have got this body, let us enjoy life, sense gratification. This is atheistic theory. In our country, there were atheists also, just like Charvak Muni. According to his philosophy, he said, Rinam Krita Dhritam Privet. Ah, because in our country, India, <coughs> life is enjoyable when we get ah, to eat too much ghee. Is it? Pakki khana. That is India. Just like in Western countries, if they can eat, if they can drink more, and that is life in India. In our country, of course. So, Rinam Krita Dhritam If somebody says that I have no money, the Chadvak Muni says that you take a loan from your friend and purchase ghee and enjoy life. Rinam Krita Dhritam Kriya, Javad Jive Sukham Jive. So long you leave, leave happy. Why? Make big ball of stick and leave happy. No, I shall be responsible. I shall have to pay next life. Chagvak only says, no, no, don't bother about next life. Bhasmi bhuta sa dehasa kuta punaradavana bhave. Your body will be burnt in the crematory and that finished. That's all. This foolishness is there that 
this life, we do not know that this human form of life we have got by the evolutionary process going through so many lives. Just like in our present life we can understand that I have come to this body, old body, through child's body, boy's body, youth's body, uh, in this way. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. It is not manufactured. Dehinasmin jatha dehi kaumara jogunam jara tatha dehantara prati bhiras tatunami. You have to accept this. Dehantara prati. From one body to another. What is my childhood body? That is gone. What is my boyhood body? That is gone. Where is my youthhood body? That is gone. Not for not only for me, for everyone. Then past, present and future. Similarly, when this body will be gone, I will get another body. Where is the difficulty to understand? Tatha dehantara prati bhirastatanami. Bhiro. Because we are not sober. There are two classes of men, bhiro and adhiro. Dhira means sober, thinking, thoughtful. And adhira means restless. So, with restless brain, it is difficult. But if you have got sober brain, then there is no difficulty to understand that I am eternal. I was in the child's body. I was in the baby's body. I was in the boy's body. I was in the young man's body. Now I have got a different body. I am living asmin dehe, dehin asmin jatha dehe. It is very easy to understand. But Krishna says, bhirastha kanamiyati. Those who are sova, they can't understand. So people cannot understand. That means the modern civilization is not sova. It is just like cats and dogs. You cannot make a cat and dog sober to understand the philosophy of life. They have degraded so much. Ah. That is describing the Shastra. Jashatma buddhi kunapeti dhatuke atma buddhi. Thinking I am this body. I am American. I am Indian. I am Brahman. I am black, I am white, I am fat, I am thin, I am this. No, no, no. You are not this body at all. That is knowledge. That is knowledge. Knowledge begins when you understand that you are not this body. That is the beginning of knowledge. Otherwise, I am this body, this knowledge is there in the cats and dogs also. The dog also jumping because he thinks I am very... Nice dog, a nice cat. So, Sastra therefore says, Jasatva buddhi kunapet dhatuke. This body is a bag of three elements, kapha pitta bhaya, according to Ayurveda system. This physiological condition, anatomical condition of this body is made of kapha pitta bhaya. So it is a bag. Of kapapitta bayu or flesh, bones, blood, urine, stool, and mucus. If you dissect this body, you will find. Do you mean to say combination of these things can make a light, so nice brain? If you are so competent, then take these ingredients. Bones, flesh, they are easily available in the slaughterhouse. Make a good bread. But that is not possible. They simply speak, but it is not possible. Therefore, the, this body is not the moving spirit soul. That is different. Therefore, Shastra says, Jasyatva buddhi kunapeti dhatuke sadhik kalatra visubhava yajyati. And as soon as you take this body, that I am this body, then in body relation, because a woman has got body relation, he sees my wife, and the children born out of the womb of that woman, that is my children, 
सधि कलत्रादिषु जो साप बुद्धि कुलपेति धात के सधि कलत्रादिषु भौम जधि भौम मिस इन लैंड वेर इन ली और वेर दिस बॉडी इज प्रोड्यूस दैट इज वॉर्सिबल दैट इज कॉल नेशनल भौम जधि जो साप बुद्धि कुलपेति धात के सधि कलत्रादिषु भौम जधि जो तीर्थ बुद्धि सलीवे न कर and tirtha holy place uh, just like people go to vrindavan haridda salile they take bath in the ganges and the jamuna and they think that now we have finished our tirtha uh, no tirtha is not that tirtha means we have to find out sober person to take in instruction from so people who are not interested to the sober man and lives like this that i am this body and the bodily uh, uh, productions a relation they are my own men and if i go to holy place take bath and then come back no sarthas is no jatirtha buddhi salile na karhi chin janesu abhigyesu you must approach abhigya pars that is the meaning of pilgrimage that is the veda says तद्विज्ञाथम सा गुरुम अभिगछे सूत्र ब्रह्म निष्ठा वी मस्ट फाइंड आउट ए सोवर मैन और गुरु सो दैट ही कैन इंस्ट्रैक्ट यू ही कैन डेलीवर यू फ्रॉम इग्नोरेंस ऑफ लाइफ सो यू फाइंड इन दिस भगवत गीता वेन देर आर टॉक्स गोइंग ऑन बिटवीन अर्जुन एंड कृष्णा फ्रेंडली टॉक्स Arjun was speaking. Let them enjoy this kingdom. I don't want to fight with my own men. That was his decision. Ah, Arjun, Krishna said, "No, no, this is not your duty. You are a khatriya. Ah, now you are in the battlefield. You must fight." In this way, ordinary topics were going on. But when Arjun saw it very difficult to understand whether I shall fight or not fight. He accepted Krishna as guru uh, because he thought that friendly talks will not make solution. Let me accept Krishna as my. Sri Shastriya, Sadhimang, Prapannam, Prapannam, I surrender. You are my guru. No, I, you are not my friend. You are my guru because uh, a disciple cannot disobey me. A friend can disobey. Krishna is asking to fight. As a friend, he was disobeying. But I, if the guru says that you must fight, then he cannot do that. Therefore, he accepted shishasti, sadhi maan prapanna. So, actually, we are all in the ignorance. The same formula: jasya ko buddhi kuna ke tithatu ke sadhik kalatra disuho mai jodi jati se buddhi shalile na tarhici. जनेशु अभिज्ञेशु सोखर गोखर गो मीन्स का एंड खर मीन्स एज दिस इज दर्डिक ऑफ दि शास्त्र दट इफ एनी मन इज इन दि बॉडिली कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइफ ही इज नो बेटर दैन दि एनिमल गो एंड खर एज एंड का सो दिस इग्नोर When this ignorance prevails, that is called dharma sadhani bhavati bharata. Uh, Krishna says, "Jada jada hi dharma sadhani bhavata bharata." When people have become like cats and dogs, the bodily concept of life and working whole day and night uh, without any spiritual understanding, without the aim of life, so this human life is not meant for that purpose. Uh, this is the mistake. Uh, it is not that the the dogs and cats are eating in a different way. Now we eat in a nice table, a nice plate, and a very nicely dressed, and you are eating. But the eating process is there. Either you nicely eat or wrongly eat, but you have to fulfill your bell and satisfy your hunger. That is not advancement of civilization. Ah, to eat nicely, to sleep nicely, to defend nicely, and to have sexual life nicely, 
That is not advancement of civilization. Ahara Nidra Vayama Infinancha. Shamana Meta Pushubi Naran. Sexual intercourse with beautiful woman and sexual intercourse with the female dog, the pleasure is the same. That is not advancement of civilization. Advancement of civilization is Atmatattam. Atmatattam. That is explained in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Apasyatam Atmatattam Griheshu Griyamedina. Srotavyadini Rajendra. Maharaj Purikhir asked Suddeva Goswami, Now I am going to die. What is my duty? What I shall hear from? So at that time, Purikhit Maharaj, yes, Sukhdev Goswami said, My dear King, Sotubhadini Milam Santi Sahasra, Apasatama Pratattam Grihesu Grihame Dina. There are those who are Grihame Dhi. Grihame Dhi means has met the home, country, society, family as the only means of advancement. They are called Grihamedhi. But there is another word, what is called Grihastha Ashram. Ashram. Brahmachari Ashram. Grihastha Ashram. Banaprastha Ashram. Sannyas Ashram. Ashram, as soon as any common man can understand, as soon as we say Ashram, there is some spiritual idea. Asra. Here is the Asra. So Grihastha Asram is different and Grihamedhi is different. Grihamedhi means one who does not know what is the ultimate goal of life and living like cats and dogs also they live with their children, wife, they also find out food, they also try to defend, protect, simply with these ideas which we live. That is called Grihamedhi. Apasatama apasatama. Therefore, our Vedanta Sutra is there to give enlightenment. As our student, Srimad Pratyumna, that's what the guy is saying. Athāta Brahma Vidyāsā, this life is not meant for wasting time like cats and dogs, because after all, we have to give up this life. But before giving us this life, we must gain something. That is this time the Upanishad. Etat dhritya prayati sa brahmana. We will have to die like cats and dogs, but we have got the chance to understand what is the value of life. The cats and dogs have, have no chance. See, simply if we waste our time like cats and dogs and do not know what is the aim of life, sahe kripana, etat dhritya prayati, Abhidityāja prayāti is a kripana. There are two things, brāhmaṇa and kripana. Kripana means miser. A person who bought this valuable body, that's why if you get millions of dollars, if you do not utilize it, if you simply see in the treasury that you have got so much money, then you are kripana. It is practical. But if you utilize that money, and in store one crore in that ten crores, then you are called intellect. Similarly, if we think that I have got this human form of life, a uh, better standard of eating, sleeping, and mating, then you remain people. You could not utilize. But if you know in this life which is possible, what is the value of this life, what is Brahma, what I, what I am, what is my connection with Brahma, why I have come here, where, where I shall go again, why I am put into the miserable condition of life, I do not wish to die, why death is enforced upon me, this is called brahma Jigdasa. Enquiry. Why? Therefore there is a keno punishment. Why? Unless this why enquiry comes in the human body, then he is failure. jata jāvaṇa jīgyāsa to ātma tattam. What am I doing? We are being defeated. Because we are doing everything in ignorance. And this body, 
This is my country, this is my kinsman. And in this way, uh, I die like a hand dog. Uh, so, uh, Krishna says, Jada jada hi dharma sagyani bhavati bharata. Aputhara adharmas. Adharmas. What is that dharma? Uh, Krishna says, Puritrana sadhunam vinasaya to duskita. Uh, dharma sanasthapana athaya juve juve sammamani. So what is that dharma? Dharma it is said. Dharma to sakshaya to bhagavat pranitam. Dharma, the simple description of dharma is the core which are given by God. It doesn't matter whether you are Hindu, Muslim, or Christian, or any, everyone, any civilized man has got some religion. If because dharma na hi na If you are no, no religion, it doesn't matter whether Hindu religion or Muslim religion. You must have some religion. Religion means to understand God. That is religion. Religion does not mean I manufacture something. No, you cannot manufacture something. Uh, religion means that you cannot manufacture laws. Law is given by the state, by the government. Similarly, religion means the course, the orders given by God. Therefore, you must know what is God, what is His order, and how to carry out it. Then you will be successful. Your life is successful. Otherwise, uh, just like the cats and dogs, they do not know how to carry out the laws of the state. Of course, they are excused. Uh, they keep to the right, keep to the left. The cats and dogs, they can violate. Law is not meant for the cats and dogs. Law is meant for the human being. Uh, therefore, the cats and dogs, if they violate the courts of God, the law of God, they can be excused because they are animals. But a, a human being, he has got the developed consciousness if he does not utilize this body for understanding what is God, what I am, what is my relationship with God, how to act, where from I have come, where to go. There are so many questions. That is called Brahma Jignasa. Ah, Brahma Jignasa. Ah, this life is meant for Brahma Jignasa. Now, where to jiggyasa? That is also Vedic in Jnana. Tadvijjana thamsa guru meva abhijachet. Tadvijjana, if you want to understand that transcendental science, one must have to go to the bona fide guru. And who is guru? Guru is the Supreme Personality of God, Krishna. And anyone who represents that Supreme Personality of Godhead, he is Guru. Guru means representative of Guru, as God. Therefore, according to Vedic Shastra, Guru is worshipped like God. Uh, this is just like my disciples, they have given this seat and almost equally with God's seat. That is in them, Jasya Prasada, Bhagavad Prasada. Guru should be worshipped as God. But Guru will never claim that he is God. That is not Guru. Guru will always claim that he is servant of God. Because the Shishya worship him, and Shishya, Guru does not say that you simply worship me. He, uh, he, he directs that you worship God. But because one gets God's connection through Guru, therefore Guru is worshipped as God. Just like in our country there was Vaisra. Uh, he was given the same respect as the king because he is representative of the royal representative. Similarly, Shastra says, Sakshadharitte na samastha shastra rukta stha bhavatayeva sadhi kintu prabhurja priyayeva tasya Bandi Guru Sri Charanarangam. This is the offering of visions to Guru. Guru is described as respect, respectable as the Supreme Personality of God. Acharya Jagmang Vijayanath, the Supreme Personality of God, 
this Acharya should be accepted as I am. And in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Acharya Upasanam. Acharya Upasanam. So therefore, we have to receive the knowledge in the disciplic success of Acharya. That is also described in the Bhagavad Gita. Evam parampara prapam imag rajar sayo vidu. Rajar say, these knowledge, they were uh, understood by the Rajarshi. Rajarshi means king at the same time saintly person, not the king and rubber. Dasudhar, simply exacting taxes. Come on, give me tax. And you go to hell. That is not king. That is not government. It is government's duty to make. The government should be Krishna conscious, and it is government's duty to see that everyone is Krishna conscious or God conscious. If you say Krishna or God, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you think that let the people go to hell, it doesn't matter. Bring taxes uh, and let us enjoy, and you go to hell. Uh, it is very horrible condition. Uh, so everywhere this is going on, therefore there is necessity of awakening this God-consciousness of the people. It is not a childish thing or sentimental fanaticism. It is real science, because this human life is meant for understanding what I am. Aham Brahmasmi. I am not this body. I am spirit soul. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasuchati Natangsati. If you can educate people to become Brahma Bhuta, then Prasannatma, he becomes happy, jolly. Uh, just like these American boys, American girls, they were many, many times in better condition of life. Now they are uh, wondering with me, what can I give them? I cannot give them nice food. I cannot give them nice shelter. Neither have money. Uh, they are coming. They are all rich men's son. Uh, but they are after me. Why? Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. They have got something. They are feeling of lies. That's uh, Bhakti, Bhakti Vedanta Sanya has given us something. That is. Therefore, they are after me. So this is the Brahma Khan, Brahma Bhuta Atma. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. That is the sign. Uh, I have become Brahma. I have become Narayana. Uh, no. If you are Prasanna, if you are always joyful, then it is to be understood that you have realized Brahma. Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. No sochati, no kāṅkati. Uh, there is no sochana here in the material world. I have got something. If I lose it, I cry. I have lost. I have lost. I have lost. And if I do not possess, then kāṅdhati, I must get it. I must. These two businesses are going on. But when you become brahma bhuta prasannātmā, these two things will go out. No kāṅdhati, no sochana. And samasarveshu bhūteshu, uh, Samasarveshu Bhuteshu, equally seeing all living entities. Pandita Samadarshan. That which was Brahma Bhuta means he is learned scholar. Aham Brahmasri is self realized. Therefore, he has no such distinction that give protection to the human being and send the poor animals to the slaughterhouse. Equality. What equality? What is he? Poor animals have done that you are sending them to the slaughterhouse. Is there civilization? This ravish civilization maintaining hundreds and thousands of slaughterhouse? Uh, so, simply speaking, uh, love, fraternity, where is your fraternity? Where is your love? This cannot be possible. This may be big talks only, but to be understood by the nonsense. Unless you become Brahma Bhuta, self realized Krishna conscious, God conscious, these things are only stories. It is not possible. This is the description in the Bhagavad Gita. Brahma Bhūta Prasanna Atma. Na Sūchati Na Kāṅsati. Sama Sarveshu Bhūte. Madhavakti Vavate Parā. Then he becomes a devotee. 
to become devotee is not so easy thing. Uh, not so easy thing. Uh, people think that devotion is a sentiment. No, it is not sentiment, it is a great science. It is a great science to become fully satisfied. Uh, fully satisfied, as Krishna says. Bhoktaram Jagatam Sam Sarva Loka Mahesaram Sridam Sarva Bhutana Gyata Mam Shanti Nichati. This is the process of Shanti. Bhoktaram, Krishna is the enjoy. We are after worshiping Krishna. That is our business. Wherever we go, we install this Krishna deity. And you are for Krishna. We print books for Krishna. We distribute books for Krishna. We beg everyone to become Krishna's bhakta. Therefore it is Krishna concept. We have no other business than Krishna. As Krishna says, Sarva Dharma and Paritajya Mami Kang We are doing that. We have no other business. Simply Krishna. Why? Krishna is Bhagavan Sam. He is the Supreme Personality of God. Krishna says in the Bhagavad, Matta Parataram Nanya, Kinti Jasti Dhananjaya, I am the Supreme, Aham Sarvasya Prabhava, Matta Sarvam Prabhattati, Iti Vatya Bhadante Mana, Buddha Bhava Samadhi. Only the learned scholars can worship Krishna. Only the learned scholar, self-realized soul, can understand Bhagavad Gita. Not by the politicians or the so-called scholars. No, it is not possible. Therefore, Krishna consciousness movement is very important movement. We appeal to the sober class, bhira, not the abhira. We also accepting bhira and abhira by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, by the mercy of the Goswami, bhira, bhira, bhira and abhira. Just like these boys and girls, they were abhira. Now they are bhira. Abhira. Adhira means without any responsibility, doing all nonsense. Actually, they are rich men, rich nations, sons and daughters. They are doing it. But now they have become Dhira. No illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling. Yes, sir. This is Dhira. You are already intoxicated. You are already illusion in this material world. If you still go on drinking, where is the possibility of knowledge? You must have sober brain to understand. Eh? So this is going on. Therefore, my appeal to all the sober men to understand this Krishna consciousness movement and join it for the benefit of his personal self, for the benefit of his country, for the benefit of the whole human society. Thank you very much. Hare